Elon, if I'm not wrong, you have served in the IDF and have some knowledge of the IDF airstrikes. Uh, could you please tell us how civilians are informed about impending airstrikes? Because I've heard about things like uh, roof knocks, uh, but I was also surprised to know that uh, you also actually call people on their mobile phone um, asking them to evacuate before such strikes. Because Israel is fighting a terror army that has embedded itself in civilian areas, we are having to make unprecedented efforts to try to keep civilians safe. Civilians on the other side to keep them safe from their own leaders. And so our officers and soldiers make individual phone calls to Palestinians telling them, we are launching a ground offensive. You need to get out of the area. We send them text messages. We send recorded voice calls. We've dropped over 10 million leaflets urging people to get out of the way. We could have launched a ground offensive immediately while people were still in Gaza City. But that would have caused untold civilian casualties. And we don't want people to be hurt. We're fighting this war because we want the suffering to end. So our army ended up surrendering the element of surprise that would have given us a military advantage in order to give civilians a chance to evacuate. We've put in place tactical pauses to help civilians get out of Hamas strongholds. We have secured safe passage for civilians to leave areas of fighting. We've designated a whole area as a humanitarian zone where we want people to go to escape fighting. And you know what's really outrageous? We told people to go to the humanitarian zone because Hamas isn't already embedded there. And Hamas has now fired over a hundred rockets at our communities from inside the humanitarian zone. And not a single UN agency, not a single UN official has condemned Hamas for shooting rockets at our towns and cities out of the humanitarian zone. And while we're doing our best to keep civilians safe and protected, we think these UN agencies and officials are culpable with the loss of life. Because instead of sending people into the humanitarian zone we designated to keep people safe, they're sending them into Hamas strongholds instead. And the UN is therefore complicit with Hamas's strategy of using human shields. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.